Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to ServiceNow911. In today's video, we discuss about CMDB CI Class Manager. So let's go for it. In the instance, just write down CI Class Manager. Here in the configuration, you see it, click on it. You see here the welcome message, use CI Class Manager to create a class. Update identification and reconciliation rule to display CI relationship and configure health settings of CMDB. So basically whenever you want to make any changes with respect to the CI structure, with respect to the CI classes, in that case you need not to go to uh, like uh, basic tables of CMDB. From the generic table module, you have to come here under this CI class manager. It will make your task very easy. Along with that you will understand the proper hierarchy, everything, the relationships in a very shorted manner. Otherwise things get confused when you go there and it, there will be uh, some kind of conflicts as well. Okay, So everything, anything with respect to CMDB come to CI class manager. So first of all I will click on this hierarchy here. As soon as we click here you see CI classes. So these all are the CI classes which are there in your current CMDB of this instance. Okay. So if we close this, you see all is coming under this configuration item. And at present there are around 2786 classes or you say 2786 tables which are associated with CMDB. Okay. Just click on it and you will see all these options. So this is for CMDB table. Let me find out some more very simple table. Let's say Windows Server. As soon as I write Windows Server, click on it. You see the hierarchy here very easily, right? Click on this server now. And the hierarchy you see here, Windows Server is having parent as server, then computer, then hardware, and then CMDB, that is configuration item. Very basic. Along with that, we have these tabs which provide a number of information with respect to this class or this table. Very first one is basic information. Here you see the basic information means display name which will be displayed on the table. Okay. You can compare these things with the table. Okay. The fields which we see when we create a new table or update the table, the same is coming here but in a very different fashion. Not all the fields are being shown here only the one which are with respect to configuration item database okay so first of all display name then description extensible you must know this right if you click this then this particular class is available for other classes to take it as a parent okay it is not here so let's leave it as out of box okay then table name managed by group and if you have any product model you have here Okay, otherwise icon, you have a number of icons, you can change the icon as well. So this is the basic information of this class. Let's go to attributes. So what are attributes? Attributes are nothing but the fields or the columns in this table and the table name is Windows Server. You see all the fields are here. You can divide the fields into derived and added. So what are derived attributes? These are the attributes which are inherited by parent that is server table and added means those which we have added new. Okay. So as of now we have not added any new here. So if you want you can add a new one here. Just click here. Let's say test. Okay. So if you want to save it click here save but we don't want to do it because this is out of our setting and we don't want to change it. But in case if you need it then please do so. Then we go to identification rule, discard the changes here. So what are identification rule? As the name suggests, identify how a particular record which is coming into this table will be identified. Generally what happens, we see uh, primary fields, right, uh, which are unique and based on that we identify, let's say serial number or something else, okay. So how a Windows Server will be identified? Generally we have the serial number. If the serial number exists in that table, it means the record is already there for that one and the changes which are coming from outside will be updated. Otherwise a new record will be created if that particular serial number is not there. So again identification rules are also can be derived from the parent or you can create a new one. So you see here we have various attributes which are coming from the parent or parent to parent tables like uh, from hardware we are getting serial number again hardware we are getting name then from network adapter we are getting mac address or name okay 
so like this you can add your own identification rules based on your cmdb structure okay otherwise at the bottom if you want to create your new one click on this plus and add the new one anyway we discuss the identification rule and reconciliation rule one by one in a separate video with more clarity where i will show you the proper example of uh, creating identification rule okay so let's uh, go for reconciliation rule so now what is a reconciliation rule you know in the identification rule we understand that the ci is coming from outside from anywhere and it will be treated like as such but in case the same CI is coming from n number of sources, let's say it is coming from discovery, let's say it is coming from uh, some scheduled job, let's say it is coming from some uh, like you say import set. Okay, so there are total three sources here, but how you identify how you manage the updates from all these sources. So in this case, you have to provide the priority based on the source from where the data is coming and the system will update according to that priority let me show you this is the reconciliation rule for this one so let me click on this particular rule which is available here you see here for windows server we have two sources identified first one is tivoli and then import set you see the priority okay so if the record is coming from both of these the priority will be given to tivoli okay so like this we can authorize the priorities let's go to next step and in this next step we have to authorize or provide the column names which are supposed to be updated from these uh, two discovery sources okay if you want all then add all if you want only selected uh, attributes to be get updated then you can add all those here like i have added all these three then in the third one you can provide a set of ci's which are to be updated okay if you want all the CIs to be updated then up to you otherwise if you have to do it on condition basis you can provide the condition here and based on that condition the records will get updated so in this way we can add the reconciliation rules okay the next one is suggested relationships uh, whatever relationship you add here or select here as a suggested relationship it will appear in the CI add relationship option you have seen the suggested relationship at the top when you create a new relationship to a CI so all that types will be coming from here only okay then you have this all relationship rules so it is basically display all the relationships which are possible for this class okay then we have the health of ci it has three components and i will create a separate video to understand completeness compliance and correctness of a particular ci okay that will be a separate one just for this video we have to understand all these basic things identification rule reconciliation rule attribute and basic information so i hope you understand these basics now we will go more in deep in the next videos okay just go to the ci class manager try to create a new class or try to update all these options okay and if we go to here server you see an option to create and child class also because uh, if you go to the basic info the server is extensible that's why you are able to add the child so if you click on it it redirects us to this basic things right display name description like we have to create a table you already know how to create this right you can add all these options then you have to add attributes that is you have to create new fields and a set identification rule then set reconciliation rule and all this i will create a separate video to display demonstrate this particular step as well so that it will be crystal clear to you so ladies and gentlemen this is it for today's video i hope you liked it i hope you understand it properly see you in next video thank you so much bye bye